morning time, it would be a really good time to paint. Morning time would be a good time to paint. We kind of didn't pick a very good time to paint. Do you know why? Why? Because it's night time. <laughs> <laughs> Switch sides, all right, good idea. Here, let's move the paint over too. Yeah! <laughs> Make it. But you have some dirty teeth. I have to do have some dirty teeth. I have to brush my teeth. Should I paint my teeth? Would that make them clean? Yeah. That would be crazy. I don't think paint would do a very good job on my teeth though. No, you would like you. You spit it out. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Guys, you don't, don't paint your teeth. Don't paint your teeth? Yeah, don't, don't even dare paint your teeth. <laughs> so Noah, I am really excited about this video. Today we are going to paint. We're going to paint. What are we painting today, Noah? Oh, son, it's not that white. It's not that white. It's not that white. It's not that white anymore. What happened to the fence? It kind of ripped a little. Yeah, it kind of got old, and all the paint started to peel off. A long time ago, this fence was just white. And now, some of the paint's peeling off. Yes, you ripped it off. Now, Noah, can I ask you a question? Do you like this fence? Mm -hmm. Do you think that we should keep this fence? Yeah, forever and ever and ever. So I want to confirm that we're going to keep this fence, because it was white a long time ago, but we want to keep it white, and if we don't paint it, all the water is going to go in those cracks and ruin this fence. But I want to keep this fence, so let's paint it and we'll confirm that we want to keep it together. You want to use this brush or that brush? Okay. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad that we used our paint clothes today. I'm going to get them out. <laughs> so Noah, do you know what we're doing right now? We're actually making the fence stronger. Do you know that? We're confirming that we definitely want the fence because we're painting it again and making it stronger so water can't go in there and make it break apart. Isn't that cool that you can paint something to make it stronger? I think I might. So we got really ready to paint this fence. What did we do to get ready to paint this fence? Put painting clothes on. Mm-hmm. And why do we put painting clothes on? So our other, like our school clothes, don't get messy. Yeah, we don't want our school clothes to get all messed up. Um, what else did we do to get ready? Did we put this blue tarp down? Yeah. That way we don't get the floor, the stones there all white when they're supposed to be brown. <laughs> do you know that sometimes how you get ready for the, to paint the fence is just how you get ready for the, a sacrament and your relationship with God? Do you know how you got all dressed up for the right clothes to paint the fence? The kids get all dressed up to receive the sacraments for the first time. Like when the kids went to receive the sacrament of confirmation, do you know what they wore? John and Naya, they wore a white outfit, a white robe to signify that they were ready. But do you know what else they did to get ready? They studied a lot about God and they prayed a lot and they told God that they want him to be number one in their lives again. And so they were ready to confirm and strengthen their relationship with God. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we don't want to paint that. <laughs> you can paint up there. Do you want to paint over here? But we get ready for every sacrament. The kids go to classes and learn about God, and they pray, and they get ready before they receive their first Holy Communion. Don't you think that's cool? I'm done painting. I want to eat. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. And so, Noah, do you know that John and Naya just got confirmed? That was like a very special sacrament where they told God that they really wanted to have a grown-up relationship with him. And do you know that Bishop Senior was there? I do that. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what Bishop Senior said? What? Bishop Senior said that God loves you no matter what. And that's why you're getting confirmed because God loves you and you're saying that you love him too. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. It's like they just painted their fence in their heart with God. Do you know that? And they strengthened their fence. Isn't that pretty cool? And we got it all on video. So we should show that to everybody, don't you think? And we could show them what the bishop said about how God loves you no matter what. You want to do that? Your Excellency, Bishop Senior, 
Our parish of St. Andrew is honored by the presence of a successor of the apostles. I present to you our sons and daughters who are candidates for the sacrament of confirmation. Under the guidance of their parents and catechists, and with the prayerful support and encouragement of this parish community, they have prepared to complete their initiation into the body of Christ, the church, which was begun at their baptism. So I ask you that you impose hands upon them and anoint them with sacred chrism, sealing them with the gift of the Holy Spirit. You are being confirmed today, first and foremost, because God loves you so much. The Holy Spirit is coming to you because God loves you. He has always loved you and He always will love you. And He wants to be in your life and He wants you to be part of His life forever. You know, God loves you. He wants to be close to you. And there's nothing that can ever change that. To know that God loves us is probably the most important thing you can ever know in life. That the God who created us and gives us life loves us. Congratulations, God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you grow stronger and stronger in the practice of your Catholic faith. God bless you. Confirm, O oh God, what you have brought about in us and preserve in the hearts of your faithful the gift of the Holy Spirit. May they never be ashamed to confess Christ crucified before the world, and by devoted charity, may they ever fulfill his commands, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Now kids, I have to be honest, we pretty much picked the worst possible time to paint. And frankly, I think we also picked some of the worst paint. We had this old, messed up... Where's this paint? <laughs> That's right, it was the worst paint ever. But we tried our best to fix this fence and paint this fence as best we could. Yeah, it's a uh, You really shouldn't paint a fence at night. Uh, but we had to paint it before winter came and it was too cold for the paint to adhere. You know, sometimes I think it's the same thing in our relationship with God. I think sometimes we feel like we're not ready for a relationship with God. We're not ready for the sacrament yet. But the good news is that God, unlike this fence, is always ready for you. And the good news is that no matter how much we mess up in our relationship with God, He's always willing to have a relationship with us. Even if we think that we're having a relationship with Him in the worst possible way at the worst possible time. God loves you no matter what. And that is what He's telling you in each and every one of the sacraments. God is just telling you that He loves you unconditionally. And even if you're not ready for Him, He is always ready for you. So to the entire confirmation class out there, congratulations. And don't worry if you don't feel like you were ready yet for your confirmation. God will continue to pour himself into your life and into a relationship with you if you just open the door to him the littlest bit. Because when you do, he's going to come rushing in. Mother Teresa said, simply welcome him into your heart as you are and he will do the rest. He really will. Even if you feel like your relationship with God looks something like this fence, a complete mess. The beauty is, is that God will always have a relationship with you, no matter where you are, if you simply want to have a relationship with Him. And that's what every single sacrament is about. A personal relationship with God. A relationship that will never be perfect on our end, but a relationship which will always be perfect in the way God loves us on His end. Anything else we want to say to the camera, Noah? Don't we want to tell them to like, subscribe, and click on the notifications? Bye, thanks for watching our show. Anything you want to tell them, Noah? Click the like, subscribe. Hey, miss notification. Oh, Hit that like button. Get your me Bye. Bye. <laughs> you rock. Good job. You did a really good job. Noah, you make the best videos ever. Why can you use a golden beard?
Try to put a road in the 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 road Getting ready. Getting ready? Yeah, and eating. And eating? <laughs> Did you have a nice snack before you painted the fence? Yeah, I ate my, first my vitamins and then I ate my other Oh my goodness. I like pretzels and yogurt. So yeah! <laughs>